Hello everybody. This video is going to be a little bit different. So we've got a 8430 with the independent link suspension and one of the pins broke that holds the cylinder in place. So would have been a huge job. Thankfully we've got great guys to help us out. Keithy and Jeff hopped on it, got it fixed, saved us a pile of money. If we would have called John Deere to fix this, it would have been well over a thousand bucks. So this is uh, just going to be uh, more of a mechanical video. So if you've got a tractor like this, which a lot of people do with this uh, style front end, if you have a pin go out, follow these tricks and maybe you can get it out. What do you think, Cassidy? No? Not going to say nothing? No. No. <laughs> All right, let's play the video. All right, guys, what's up? Me and Keefe out here. Here, right there. Working on the 8430 that we used to pull the stock chopper. Kyle broke it. But it's got independent suspension one of the pins broke this is what it's supposed to look like it's all nice and together and this is what we have down down on in there broke off a little bit so if you ever run into this issue with anything like that we are going to show you some tips and tricks to kind of get it out Look at the rust coming out of that bad boy. Oh, really? Look at that. Ooh. Eating it up, son. See when it foams like that? Mm hmm. All right, so what's the freeze off do, Keith? If you want to explain it. This I know stuff what it right does. here gets cold, real cold when it comes out, and it's got penetrated in it. And what it does if you have a machined part or a pressed in part there's no threads or no it's just pushed in there it's a mechanical fit that will shrink the piece that's in there and allow that penetrant to get around it and get that rust and stuff loosened up on it we probably ain't gonna need it on this but we're using it anyway um that's the first step get that rust out of there and then we're gonna clean it with some brake cleaner we don't hit it with the, um for the ones that don't know it, heat expands the metal and cold shrinks it. Now, anytime you're trying to get like a tight bearing in there or, or you know, trying to put a, a bearing on a, a tight shaft. We're going to show them the ice chest trick. The ice chest trick. Uh -huh. And we're going to show y'all a trick to help you do that because it, it helps us with wonders. Now, this is the old part. This is the new part. So we've got that much pin broke off in the hole. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this long bolt, and put it through here, and then we're gonna go weld it to the inside of that piece that's broke off. And then we can use the old part for a slide hammer. We'll try it and see. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all the ice trick. The new part that's gotta be pressed in. See Keefe's cold drinks? We're about to just put this in there with his cold drinks. And let it sit in there until we need it. And, what's it, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna shrink that part to make it easier put in put in the hole over there no we're going to put it on there for sure yeah got a fire right below you hold on Makes it worse. Yeah, it's kind of flammable. There. Thank goodness for the rain yesterday. Alright, so what he's doing now is he's taking the freeze off and he's gonna spray that pin. He's gonna he's gonna soak it down. And we're hoping just the pin. That it's just gonna be the pin. 
and we'll be able to take the slide hammer and just tap it right on out without giving us too many issues. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you ain't with it. And we may have to use the bolt trick. And that's plan B. That's why you always have a plan B. And what what the idea behind this is <clears throat> I'm gonna put it up there, screw your nut on, take the impact, and just start hitting it. And it should, in theory, which I mean me and Keith has done this plenty of times. Both ways. Both ways. Um <laughs> it should in theory pull it out, so. I can ever get it to move a little bit. Yep. Be on. Man. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> Nine and three quarters. No. Seven eighths. Yep. And we spun the weld out. Yep, broke the weld. Like I said, that's just hard to weld to, boy. The wind is blowing real bad today, so we're going to be a little careful. Have some on standby. back and forth. So we're hoping now that we can get it. You ready for the money shot? Hold on. All right. There it is. Yeah. All right, y'all. What we got is something of our creation here at the barn. And it's just a piece of all thread, but we took and we cut a slit in it, and we have it where we can put a nut on it. And you put your emery cloth in there, spin it on around, and that hole that we have in that pin where that pin was, it's gotta be cleaned up. And that's exactly what this is gonna do with the emery cloth. Put it on the end of the drill and it's just gonna spin it and just get it all polished and clean. So we don't have to take the top one loose. We'll do this right here. Just slide the pin in and push the pin in at the same time. That way we ain't gotta take nothing loose. Problem is I got need a little more. It's gonna be closer up there. Oh, 
yeah, she can hold that, but at least it didn't break the CV axle. Yeah. Take the jack out from under. Right? Right. And grease the stew out of it. <clears throat> Alright, y'all. She's there. Gotta yeah, tighten that bottom line up. And uh, put the hammer in the truck. Rice grips in the truck. Camera cloth in the truck. 